What's good, everybody? Today I am going to do, be doing a reaction to uh, Tom McDonald, Facts with Ben Shapiro. I know this is trending right now. It's got over 5 million views on day two. Uh, it starts off with, I don't care if I offend you. So you know he's going to purposely try to offend. And then Ben Shapiro, uh, Facts Don't Care About Your Feelings, his famous uh, quote that he coined. But um, yeah, and I'm going to pull up the lyrics because I want to make sure that I, I can actually read this and, and get along with it. So bear with me on that one. But here we go. Let's see uh, what they got to say. And play. Wait, let's start this over. He jumped right in. Okay, so we'll start there. Um, he's an independent rapper. Uh, he is very controversial. He's very political. He's on the right. And um, he's not afraid to share his opinions. And um, I'm for it. I'm for it. Okay, um, so he said, um, he says, P uh, claim that I'm racist, yeah, right, I'm not ashamed because I'm white. If every Caucasian's bigot, I guess every Muslim's terrorist, every liberal's right. You know, there's some truth to this. I understand um, that there's a lot with cisgendered white men, but listen, not every white person is a racist. Uh, it is what it is. I mean, you can't stereotype everybody in the same boat, put them in the same boat. So, so far, the song's called Facts. He's shooting facts. Um, let's kick it back. <laughs> His flow's a little off, though, but, you know, I mean, he can rap better than I ever could. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so before we hit the content, I love what he's doing here with with the pro scheme. He says uh, pro-choice, pro-nouns, pro-love, progressives, but you're not pro-gun, protect, you know? Uh, he's going through all that, that scheme there. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm... I'm I would I would classify myself as more on the the liberal side, but you know I'm also pro guns. I'm also pro, you know uh, <laughs> I'm kind of all of the above. I'm you know I'm a typical American. So, um, but yeah, go woke, go broke, no hope. It's pathetic. Pro choice, pro nouns. See, he what Tom is doing here is he's trying to rock the boat. He's trying to offend, and I think we got to give room for people to have their opinions. You know, um, I don't agree with with a lot of what Tom says, and I guarantee you he doesn't agree with me, and you know what? It's cool. It's cool. Uh, we're both Americans, and we can be free to do that, and uh, I respect I respect his artistry. He's <laughs> he's definitely getting his opinion out there. I'm really curious to see what Ben Shapiro is going to do. Um, I have occasionally trolled Ben Shapiro. I love the guy. I love, I love a lot of things that he says. I disagree with a lot of things that he says. Um, it is what it is. Let's, let's, uh, let's kick this back. And play. You know, that's true. I've noticed that. So, um, back in the day, man, when I was like, everywhere you went, there was always the American flag everywhere. And, you know, and maybe it's just, it was trendy at the time. Maybe it's not now. But you notice there's, there's no American flags out anymore. And people have related the American flag to, to like, the right and the alt. And um, it's sad because, you know, America is one of the greatest countries uh, ever. I know we have our problems. Every country does. But, man, we, we've got our freedoms and our liberties, and I'm so grateful for that. Let's kick that back. No, oh, that's good. I like that. There's nothing there that I don't like, you know? This ain't rap. This ain't money, cars, and clothes. We ain't selling drugs. We, uh, we ain't gonna overdose, so it's not pushing drugs. We're not pushing guns. We ain't promoting stripper poles. We won't turn your sons to thugs or daughters. I mean, as a parent, <laughs> good. Good for you. We don't. Good for you. I like that. Yeah, we know you don't care if you're fit. Okay, right there. There it is. 
There it is. I don't care if I offend you. I was put here to upset you. So the, the goal of this is to upset people. You know, I think we, you know, it's artistry, right? We should be a little less offensive. Um, and it is what it is. People are going to have different opinions. Not everyone's going to agree with you. I don't agree with a lot of people. You know, you, you, you put a group of 10 people in the room and say, what's your favorite song on the radio? What's your favorite genre? What's your favorite food? And you're not going to get the same answers. And, and you know what? That's okay. That's okay. Um, I wish there was a way we could find a middle ground, though to come alongside when we have these two p opposing worldviews where we could just come along and and find a middle ground like everyone's ex extremes right now we have the extreme right the extreme left and everyone's like making war with their neighbors and man if we could just go back to a place where we we can agree to disagree um it would it would be better <sighs> anyways tangent come on ben what are you gonna tell me Mm, I'm not upset. Well, that's interesting, okay? And I know there's a lot of opinions on this. He said, you can try, you can cry and you can scream, you can ride in the streets. You defunded the police, now there's no one to protect you. And I know there's people on both sides of this. And, you know, I, I don't honestly know where I land on this. I... Well, I guess I do. I've never been one to to seek to personally defund the police. And I understand that there's that people say ACAP, all cops are bad. I don't agree with that. I, because again, it's a stereotype. It's it's putting everybody into the same box. And, and when you say this whole group of people is bad, then you get offended that that people say that your whole group of people is bad. That's what creates the problem. I, I mean, there's exceptions to every rule. There's bad apples in every community, every group, everything. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> but that's clever. I mean, it's facts. You know, um, you defunded the police. Now there's no one to protect you. I hope I offend you. I asked myself what would Ben do. So, again, the point of this song is is to to state state their viewpoint and to do it in an offensive way. And uh, I'm I wonder how that's going. <laughs> I know he's he's hitting number one, so uh, he's definitely hitting a chord with somebody, with a whole lot of somebody. Mm. Let's just keep it real fast. Fast, don't care how you feel. If you want my pronouns, I'm the man, I'm the man who don't respect. Listen, get this, yes, I got the Ben. <laughs> you know, sorry, I'm one of those trolls sometimes, but. <laughs> Let's see if you're coming up with the bars here. <laughs> Dude, he just spit a bar. He just spit a bar. So he, him, and Lizzo go at it all the time, and uh, he gets on Lizzo about her weight, and she, he says, "Look at, look at the stats. I've got the facts." And again, he's wearing the facts. Don't care about your feelings. He says, "My money, like Lizzo, my my pockets are fat." So he's saying, "My money's fat, like Lizzo," is what he's saying there. So he is definitely not afraid to offend anybody. Hey, Let me kick this back. I'm kick it back a little bit more. They're trying to be offensive, but I, I don't get offended very easily. Wap? Wap? <laughs> it's wap! <laughs> but listen to him, he says, Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a... Don't be a... I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't be a, and then he says, um, dog, it's a yamaka, homie, no cap. So he's doing a double here because he's talking about, um, it's a yamaka. Um, I have a yamaka, but a yamaka is not a cap. And then he's like, no cap. So there's a double entendre there. So, wow, Ben's spitting some bars here. I bet you Ben didn't write this though. I bet you, uh, um, Tom probably wrote this, but it's pretty good. Mm. So he's flexing. That's what rappers do. <clears throat> Not that he's a rapper, but he's flexing. It. <laughs> ben Shapiro looks so out of place here. All right. 
So I was actually talking about this earlier. With, I think I was talking with my husband. I was like, you know, because um, he just said, uh, what did he say here? He said, um, n- um, keep hating me on the internet. My my comments sections all woke Karens and I make racks off compound interest. So what he's talking about is controversy brings in revenue. So the more controversial they can be, the more revenue they bring in. It's better because everybody likes controversy, whether you're offended or not. Um, it, it brings in the views, it brings in the, the revenue, and that's what he's talking about. So they intentionally put things out there to offend people. Um, that's just like their MO, and you know, I mean, you do you. I'm gonna do me, you do you. You live with your parents. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. <laughs> so this is kind of funny because he he raps like he talks, but he but he sounds like a like an AI like fake person. Um, it's just very interesting. I mean, what he said is what he said. He's just trying to flex and and he's gonna do that. And again, the point of the song is to be offensive. Um, again. This is why we live in the greatest country in the world because we can we have freedom of speech and we can we can voice our opinion just like we can voice ours I can voice my opposing opinion they can voice they can voice theirs and you know what is I think that's fine I think that's fine I don't care for the hook I mean lyrically it's fine but I just don't musically it doesn't do anything for me yeah, we know that, Tom. <laughs> I don't get offended. So this brings me to a point, you know. Again, we're 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 so far on this pendulum. Like we got the right, we got the left. We're on these different sides, and. Man, I wish that we could just find a middle ground somewhere because you know what? I don't agree with everybody. I don't agree with most people. They don't agree with me. And you know what? It is what it is. But I can still have dinner with someone I disagree with. I can still love someone that that absolutely is the opposite of who I am. I married someone who's kind of the opposite of who I am physically. So there's that. But yeah, I, I wish we as a culture would... would would find a way to get thicker skin. Um, and I understand. I know there's trauma. I know there's a lot of hate. And I know that 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 people get hurt. But people aren't going to change. Like, it's just it's not going to change. We've got to find a way to navigate this in a healthy way. Um, because, you know, I'd have no issues having a conversation and sharing my point of view with Ben Shapiro, with with. Tom McDonald or with anybody on the left or the right, you know, I don't expect to, to win them over, but, you know, if we can have mutual respect for each other to some degree, you're like, they don't respect, yeah, but that's in the public eye, they're, they're controversial on purpose, but, it, you know, as long as we can we can walk away with, with agreeing to disagree, I, I mean, I, I don't know, I don't know, I'm just going off on this one. I'm a little all over the place today. What would Ben do? Not what I would do. Yeah, facts don't care how you feel, but you know what? I do. <laughs> I, I, I genuinely, you can be offensive and, and you're going to get the clicks, you're going to get the likes, and you're going to get, you know, the, the, the buzz that you want. But honestly, I would rather be known for my kindness, for my gentleness, for my meekness, um, than just always being right. You know, when we all know, you know, Mr. Know-it-all and the one that knows everything right. And they're, they're, they're hard to be around, even if they are right or even if they're not right. You know, um, there's, it's, it's so much nicer to be around someone who's compassionate, gracious. Um, and so, I don't know, I strive to be that. You know, I'm not, I'm not 100% right on everything. No one is. You know, Jesus is. You know, obviously, um, he's the one I strive to be like. But, you know, the commandment I have from my God, from my King, is to love God, love people. He didn't say, you know, love the people who are like you. He actually said, love your enemies. Love, love, love those who oppose you. Love those who take from you. Love those who hurt you. And so, um, 
I'd rather be known for for my love, uh, you know, honestly, and 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 I hope that when when that day comes that I that my legacy that I leave behind is that I loved well, that I loved God and loved people well. Um, striving to do that. Let's kick this back. So again, that's something interesting. He's writing a song to to be offensive, and he's like, "Listen, you want you want my pronouns? I'm the man. You know, I I'm the man who don't respect you. You know, and that's fine. That's fine. You know, there's people that I don't respect. There's people who don't respect me. Again, that's that's the beauty of living in the in the country that we live in. We 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 get our different opinions. We get our we have the right to disagree." Um, my my hope and my prayer is that at some point our culture can come together and figure this out and and that we wouldn't be at war with each other anymore that we would be that we would have each other's back um that's my my prayer and my dream not mad not sad <laughs> okay, so this is kind of funny. He says, you're you just trying to get attention being triggered is all you have. And that's true for some people. However, <laughs> Tom, come on, Tom. Are, are you not trying to get attention? Are you not trying to sell this album? You know? And again, great way of doing it. This is a way to get people thinking, people talking, have the conversations begin to really, you know, get people's blood boiling. Uh not mine because I, I I love the art. I love the art of I love hearing people's opinions through music, even when I disagree with it. Um, because it, you know you can really get the the heartbeat of a culture through their music. Because whatever's being played in the music is what's going on in the culture. You know, so if the the future if the cultures have a lot of loss, they're going to sing about a lot of loss. If there's a lot of political stuff, they're going to sing about political stuff. And this is what we're finding. We're in a hot topic on pronouns, inclusion, uh, the left, the right, woke, unwoke, you know, all this stuff. And it's a, it's a hot button. And I think it's healthy to have these conversations. I really do. You know, and again, I, I, I lean towards part being in the middle of that. You know, I don't want to go too far to the left, too far to the right. Um, you know, I, I definitely lean more to the left, I would say, uh, when it comes to social issues. Um, it is what it is. You know, I, I just, I love people. I love the diversity of people. I love, um, <laughs> and I know I'm going to get hate for this, but first of all, I'm a pastor. So my job is to love all people. It's, that's literally what my calling from God is to do is to love those on the left and the right, blue and red, you know, black and white, orange and yellow, whatever you want to call it. I'm to love people because we're all broken. All of us are broken. I'm broken, you're broken, Tom's broken, Ben's broken, we're all broken. And we're trying to navigate this journey in the in the best way that we can as we, you know, we want to raise our kids the best way we can. And so instead of me being a, a person of division, which has its place, believe it or not, this song, this song really doesn't offend me in any way, I still want to be a person that is approachable, is 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 seeing that you can you can come to me you're safe with me you're, you 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 can trust me I'm not going to I'm not going to intentionally go out of my way to harm you that's that's never my intention um uh Tom's not that way though <laughs> Tom doesn't care if he offends he just doesn't he's like slim shady doesn't care but Tom you're trying to get attention too and that's okay you're trying to sell your music video We all know people like that on both sides of it. You know, because we, we have this, you know, you blame everybody for all the problems that you have. The left blames Trump. The right blames Biden. Everybody blames. No one takes responsibility for themselves. And it's messy. Let me kick that back again. Sorry. You sad? Yeah, Tom's not sorry. Tom, you have to go a lot harder if you're going to offend me. Even though I disagree with you, I'm not offended. 
Hmm. I mean, it's a cool beat. You know, I, I have to I have to laugh at that because you know you want my pronouns on the man, the man that don't respect you. He's being honest. I mean, everything he's saying in here is coming from his world view. He he genuinely is being honest with all of this, and I respect honesty more than anything. I respect people uh, who I know what I get when I see them. I don't have to to wade through the lies and the mirage and the the games. I may, again, I may not agree with the approach. I may not agree with the style. I may not agree with 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 the way we fight each other on a regular basis. But at least I, I'm a very blunt person. I love it when people are just blunt because you know what you get. You know what you get. And um, so yeah, uh, very controversial music video. Um, I think it's streaming five million in, on two days. <laughs> they they know how to get the the likes. So there's my reaction to Tom McDonald. A couple of bars in there. It's shocking that Ben Shapiro threw in some bars. That was, that was amazing. Um, yeah. And so in summation, in conclusion, my hope is that these kinds of hot topics and these kind of controversial videos that we do would would bring about more conversations and more. Um, ways to find more that they would help us find ways where we can see where we can come together instead of just always looking at our differences maybe looking at where we're, we're the same where we have the same values because we do have the same values we all want to be loved we all want to be appreciated and respected you know and of course tom says i'm not going to respect you i get that that's his right as an american as it's his freedom to do that Anyways, that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much. Sorry I'm a little sporadic today. I'm a little under the weather, but um, I wanted to hit this up and, and, and get this in there. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, please hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, yeah, let's have some conversations about it. I know it's controversial, but you know, let's have some healthy dialogue. Hit me up in the comments. Thank you.